Cheers. Cheers. New year, new guitar. Today I'm joined by my husband, Cody, the groovy guitar dude, AKA the love of my life. Oh, what's up guys? <laughs> yeah. This is the Enya Nova Go SP1. They asked what color I wanted to get. This is a neat case. That it's is very actually. smooth. Yeah, Ooh. interesting. Really interesting for like a soft case. Wow. Yeah, I like that. It's like a like a soft, soft case. It is, but it's not like cloth. It's almost like a um, kind of like a rubbery material. Yeah, rubbery. and look at that. Just like simple logo, Nova Go. And then it has a mono strap here, which is I'm actually gonna just like sling this on real quick. Can we just like Ooh, oh, looks look at good. that? The zippers here have some branding on them too. And yeah, yeah that's, that's cool. cool. Yeah. Cool branding. Nice. Yeah. Also, this came in the box as well, the like kind of bigger box. Mm. It looks like it is instrument cable, Ooh. quarter inch cable. Nice. Cool that it comes with it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna take this off right now. Babe, that thing is so pretty. This feels like mermaid goddess vibes. This wow. is insane. They have so many colors. They have ones that are more of like a matte color, but they have a sparkly line. And I was like, I'm just gonna go all sparkles. And I love this sea glass green. It's my favorite color. And I cannot believe they have a glittery guitar. I've always wanted a glittery guitar. This is so, oh my gosh, it's just so stunning. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the gold mm. hardware with that color too. Oh I do gosh. too. It looks so pretty. Total mermaid vibes. Total mermaid. So one thing that's really cool about this, as beautiful as this guitar is, and it's all sparkly and groovy looking, it's actually made out of carbon fiber, a carbon fiber composite. What's awesome about carbon fiber is that it's resistant to a lot of the stuff that wood guitars can be kind of damaged by or knocked out of tune or whatever else. So this is actually kind of like like lost my train. It's kind of like a super guitar. It's kind of like a super guitar mm -hmm. and it's resistant to like changes in temperature. It's resistant to like light water damage, things like that. You don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff with a carbon fiber composite guitar like mm -hmm. this one. It's a goddess guitar. That's yeah. why. Yeah. It's got powers. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm not a very techie person, but this guitar does come with some smart features, which is known as the Acoustic Plus system, which gives you the ability to have a line in, but also it has a pickup system that has some effects. So we've got some delay, reverb, wah. Also, it has Bluetooth capabilities. And so you can hook it up to your phone so you can have music playback and like jam along with tracks. You can even and record stuff, which is really awesome too. So here's a quick demonstration of the Bluetooth capabilities and what you can do with the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my Nova Go SP1. Here, searching, you're connecting, awesome. Okay, so now what you can see is there's a ton of different effects. These are just the basic effects here that you can go through and you can use. You can do custom, like anything custom, I call this test three, it's just a custom that I did, but you can go in and you can create and you can do EQing, you can mess with some different effects, you have reverb, feedback, time, speed, depth, level, drive, tone, rate, depth, and sustain. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with that. And you can make your own custom kind of like presets here. So this preset that I made has a little bit of wah in there, so we got, a little funky, just kind of like wah, 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 wah. Now some other cool features within this app, if you hit the tools tab at the bottom, you have a drum machine with a bunch of different genres of drums. You can uh, manipulate the speed. So I'm just gonna hit start. I'm gonna turn up the volume just a little bit on here. There we go. I sound like I need a tune-up actually, which you can do within the app. You just hit tuner and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my lap here. I 
we're good to go. That's really cool. <laughs> some other cool features are basic chords so you get some pictures and diagrams of all your basic chords you even get different angles of the shapes too so it really helps you see what your fingers are supposed to be doing you also have a chord finder which you can just tap some random dots here and it will tell you exactly what chord that is so we have like an a sharp diminished and it's a really cool feature because if you are just playing around with different shapes and you want to know what the chord's called, it'll tell you. And it also has a chord dictionary, so you can just tap through and do like a G, add four, and it gives you a bunch of different variations on how to play a G, add four. Sounds very like 90s grunge. If you want to call me baby just go ahead now if you <laughs> so you can really get creative with this guitar which is super cool we're gonna go ahead and give it a spin yep So after taking it through some test jams, we're gonna go ahead and talk about our three main factors, feel, sound, and aesthetic. So starting with feel, this is perfect for any beginner just because the action is super low. So you're not gonna have a hard time pressing down on those strings. The neck for me was just, just slightly chunkier than I would probably prefer, but I don't find that it hindered me in any kind of way. It didn't make playing difficult. It just felt a little bit different. Um, but I still think that this would be perfect for anybody who's just starting out on guitar, especially with the creativity that you can get with it. I feel like it's really fun. Um, but it's also, because it's a three quarter size-ish type guitar, it's going to be really comfortable in your lap mm -hmm. with your arm reaching over. It's perfect for travel. I'm going to give it my stamp of approval, my GG stamp of approval on comfort. Nice. Yes. Cody, tell us all about the sound of this guitar. It has a lot of different sounds. It does have a lot of different sounds. You looked it? at me funny when I called you Cody. <laughs> yeah. You were just like, what? Who? Who's Cody? Who's Cody? <laughs> you mean babe? <laughs> okay. Is Stanley going to be in with us? <laughs> He's joining us. It's too hot. You just yeah. gotta, gotta keep going. All right. So regarding sound, with this guitar, first of all, I want to talk about the acoustic sound without any of the effects turned on. Acoustically, this guitar sounds a lot bigger than it actually is. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of a small guitar. It's about a three-quarter size guitar in terms of length, but it's also very thin. This is really about the same size as some of our, like, like my semi-hollow electric guitar, which whenever I saw that, I was a little nervous that it was gonna sound really kind of thin and tinny. Yeah, like a toy. Yeah, I almost like thought it was gonna sound like a toy. I did too. Mm -hmm. And 
without any of the effects on or anything, it actually has a really good balanced sound. Now mm -hmm. you're not getting a whole lot of big low end, but it's balanced, mm -hmm. I feel like. It sounds bigger than it is for sure, and you get a really kind of nice, I keep saying balanced, but kind of balanced across the board sound with this. And it's also relatively loud. With a smaller body mm -hmm. guitar like this, typically you expect it to be a little bit quieter. I would say this sounds about the same kind of volume and projection as a normal three quarter size guitar, which is good, again, considering how than it is. Talking about the effects just a little bit. The effects are pretty cool. I would say there are two of them that I would actually regularly use. And then the other two, they're kind of cool to have, but maybe just like a little bit gimmicky. They just sound a little bit like, I, I don't know when I would actually practically mm -hmm. use them. But the reverb and the delay sound great. Mm -hmm. My actual favorite one that of my playthroughs that I was doing there was using the delay. I thought it sounded really, really nice. It sounded projected well, the delay felt good, it sounded good, it fit in well, all of that. And I'm sure that came through in the actual recording of that, hopefully it did. But those two effects to me sounded really nice. And then the other two effects, they're cool, we'll play around with them and they'll be fun to just kinda like, you know, that wah effect is, it's a little goofy, but it's kind of fun. So it's I'm sure, fun. yeah. It's, you can do something creative with it. Right, like know? we'll jam around and it'll be fun to play with, but Really the ones that I'm gonna use the most are the delay and reverb. Yeah, and then there was the one that was just like, it was called like a, an acoustic one, right? It was just like more of like a boost. Yeah, yeah, so the first like one, one, the green one, yeah, that was yeah. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So that one, again, I wouldn't use it a whole, whole lot because I don't necessarily think this guitar needs it, but essentially that green one, I think it kind of works as like just a, a regular acoustic boost. Mm -hmm. All it does, it seems like, is just kind of adds in the pickup sound and mm -hmm. projects the acoustic amplifies sound. Amplifies a little bit. Amplifies it a mm -hmm. little bit. And it's cool. I won't use it a lot, but it is kind of a cool feature to have. I think that the effects that are on here are a great starting place for anybody who's just getting into guitar sure. that wants to play around with some effects. Totally. So that way it's it's a very simple to use feature and to switch between all the effects. So I think coming from like a beginner standpoint, I think it would be perfect. Definitely. And another thing we didn't really show very much is this actually, as much as this is a button, it's also a knob actually. So mm -hmm. you can spin this and it kind of works like a volume control for the effects. So if you turn it all the way down or, or partially down, you'll get less of the effects. And if you crank it all the way up, you'll get full effects as well as the acoustic. And one thing about that too, is that I love that you can dial in and adjust your effects. Mm -hmm. But one thing that would be really cool is to know where you are, like a little indicator. Yeah, you know. that would be nice. Like yeah. you can feel it and stuff, yeah. but again, if you're using this in like a live setting, it'd be nice to be able to just kind of see at a glance where you're at in terms of how much delay you have or mm -hmm. how much reverb you have. Totally. One more thing too uh, regarding sound is that there is a sound hole right here. Mm -hmm. So that way the sound is also not only projected out, but it is projected up at you. Yeah. So that way you get a little bit of a different sonic experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it kind of fills it in from the player's perspective. And we haven't played a whole lot of guitars that have kind of an, a sound hole here and mm -hmm. here, but we've seen quite a few of them. Um, but I think that helps lend itself to that well-balanced sound on a small body guitar mm -hmm. like this, where you get more of that balanced sound, you get probably a little bit more of that low end that usually wouldn't be present in a guitar that's this thin, particularly. Mm -hmm. Aesthetic. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm ready go. to talk aesthetic. Yeah. Whew. My six-year-old self, no, 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 hold on. I was 10 in the year 2000, Y2K, that's when everything was all like jelly, glittery. My 10-year-old self would want this for me oh, right yeah. now. She would be so proud of me that I picked out this guitar. This is incredible. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've always wanted to have a guitar that was just like glittered out, and I thought about DIYing one myself. This is insane. Yeah, it's I beautiful. Mean, I'm just, I, I'm excited just to have it sit in the room and have the sun pick up on all the glitters. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice looking glitter too. It like is. if you're into that sort of thing, mm -hmm. it doesn't look cheap or, or anything like that. Like it's, it's glossy. Also yes. there's a, like a gloss finish over this. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna get like little glittery Glitters flakes. Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> and the gold hardware is beautiful. And one thing I would say too about the gold hardware, we really like Enya's tuners. Um, I think these might be the same tuners that are on the X4 Pro, I'm not 100% sure, but we were really impressed with those. Actually, they might be a little different, I'm not sure. But the tuners on both of the Indian guitars that we've tried are very nice. They're oh, 
Just yeah. they, they're smooth. Easy to turn. It doesn't yeah. feel like you're going to snap a string. Like yeah. I felt like when I was tuning it up, it was just so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Very easy to tune. It seems like it stays in tune well once you kind of do your initial tune out of yeah. the box and stuff. You do a couple of initial tunes to just get everything tightened up and all that. And I mean, it stays in tune pretty well. So mm -hmm. those are really nice. It's definitely a key feature we've noticed about Enya guitars overall that we've noticed that we like. Super Lizzie McGuire, Y2K <laughs> aesthetic going on here. Yeah. I'm, I'm super stoked about this. This is a beautiful guitar. And one extra bonus thing that we talked about a little bit in the beginning, but didn't go into much depth on is the accessories that this comes with. So first of all, you got a quarter inch cable that this comes with, which is really nice because this is something you'd usually have to buy from a guitar store or order online, usually like, I don't know, 20 bucks or something like that. You can plug this in, comes with an instrument cable, that's nice. And then you also get this little pack of accessories here. And I'm not gonna take out each one individually and show you guys, but just to show you what's kind of in here, there's USB-C cable, which is the charger for this. So you plug this in via USB-C right there and it'll charge up and that's how you get the effects and the amplification and all that. There's also, it looks like uh, a Allen wrench here for adjusting your action and whatnot, which I actually don't know where you adjust it. It might be up under here. Actually, mm -hmm. I think it is up underneath yeah. there. You get an extra set of strings in here. So if you pop a string or wear yours out, you can change your strings. There's also a cleaning cloth in this little white Ooh. box here. It says that. Enya on it. Yeah, we can actually pull that out because it's kind of neat that it has that. It is neat. They can keep your sparkles shining. Yeah. Stay bejeweled. Stay bejeweled. <laughs> exactly. So a little Enya cleaning cloth, a little microfiber. Ooh, nice. nice. I yeah. like that a lot. It's cool. It's got the little logo there. Mm -hmm. It's all that. That's, yeah, I dig it. It's cool. So yeah, anyways, like I said, just a little bonus thing. You get some cool accessories with this. It's nice that they include some of those things like the quarter inch cable that mm -hmm. you would otherwise have to buy. So that concludes our thoughts on the Novago SP1. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. Also, the X4 Pro that we were talking about, feel free to check it out on Cody's channel. It's an amazing guitar. It's definitely a step up from this one. It's yeah. more of like a studio kind of recording guitar. Yeah. Really neat, totally recommend checking it out. So link to Cody's video, you can check that out next. But if you would like to learn more about the Novago SP1, I'll throw you to a link in the description box. But that is gonna be it for our video today. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and we'll see you next time. Thank you.